Basic routines from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fusov, and today I'm showing you this lovely honeybee, and I will tell you a little bit about this honeybee, what you can see on her body, at least during this my brief interview with this creature. By the way, today is May 16, 2018, and yesterday I collected this honeybee just on the window of our laboratory because she came just inside our laboratory by accident. I'm not sure why she came here because this is a working honeybee and by the worker and worker is a female who knows about structure of honeybee colony. And actually worker should be collecting nectar to make honey. So there is no visible beehive somewhere around, but probably it does exist somewhere. Maybe somebody just established beehive, uh, probably in a private apartment somewhere near the center of uh, our city. And so that's why we are flying about in a diameter of maybe 3-4 kilometers around. So, and of course by accident, because of wind, because of clouds or sunshine, so about 10 of honeybees came to the laboratory and we were flying over our window, so I collected some of them, so at least 10 we just put them out, and some survived, two of them survived, and I can show them today, maybe this individual, maybe next one. So the, this honeybee will try and just to clean the body, so now probably she fed, been fed already, but I will try to give a little bit honey, just to continue experiment and at least yes to make you busy and to show you some details of morphology of honeybee because it's interesting to talk about honeybee when it is more or less quiet so and under the high magnification of a zoom because when too many honeybees in a nest difficult to see them, at least here with the zoom, with camera, you can see them in details. So what can you see here? Definitely you can recognize that honeybee is not only a lovely insect, but consists of different parts. Uh, definitely left side this is a head with the tongue. Tongue is very busy now just to collect honey, because I give a piece of honey from my jar and of course antennae, you can see antennae or head and facetas of compound eyes so on the downside you see antennae antennae is very busy because this is an organ of a camera reception and orientation in space orientation around how to move around the beehive, how to collect honey in a field. So antenna is a very important. So you see the red color part, this is a tongue, which is used for collecting nectar on flowers and then keeping it inside the body. So tongue is very busy and consists of several parts. This is not only one part, but several of them. First of all, on head you can see on the downside there are two mandibulae. Mandibula is very important to cut walks, to cut pollen boxes, uh, to cut propolis, to make work for honeybee. And between mandibula on the head there are special details or this sucking tongue, which includes several parts like maxillae, labial parts. Oh, where is honeybee? Escaped. Oh, escaped? No, 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 no. Becoming a little bit nervous and busy. Well, anyway, just I have another one. And propose for her as well. A little bit honey. But first one escaped on a window. I will make you busy. 
and try to take a little bit more honey. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, I got the honey. So when she's feeding, we will tell. Okay, you can see this lovely tongue, which consists maxillae. Special details, this is labial palps. Then central part of this tongue, this is it's called proboscis. And on the top, very tiny, it's called a halosa. halosa. And of course you can see the head with compound eyes. Compound eyes. Long oval compound eyes on both sides of head and two um, black, I can say brown mandibula on the downside of head. These are mandibula, they are opened. So we have a second tongue between them. Two black antennae are moving. And on the top of the head there are three simple eyes. And what you can see, of course, you can see hairs or seta on the body. Definitely you see the body of a honeybee is hairy. In some places bald. See the second part after the head is named thorax. So dorsal or upper side of thorax more or less bald. Because honeybee is busy usually is moving between combs in the nest and also busy in the field. So all these hairs can be lost and these brown hairs will be lost for certain after a certain period of time and the surface will be bald. Well, the, then after the thorax there is a long abdomen with uh, other insects we have an ovipositor but honeybee has a sting. So this is modified ovipositor which became a sting. This is a special upper organ for honeybee protection. And here we can see three legs or three pairs of legs. Actually on the left side this is a hind leg, then middle and the, the four legs. First pair, second and third pair of legs. Now we can see we've had on the left, uh, right side. And what you can recognize here, mm, I guess we can try to make magnification. First of all, the most important, this is a structure of uh, hind legs, which consists, of course, this is a leg, consists of femur, then tibia, and then tarsi. The tibia is a flatten with a very smooth surface, and the first tarsal segment is also very flattened and very big, extremely big and very important. It's important for collecting pollen, for bringing pollen from flowers into a beehive. Because for that honeybee has such a special morphological modification of hind legs. And it's named pollen comb or pollen brush on the first tarsal segment pollen brush which has lines of hairs and used just to clean the body and then to make a special special piece of pollen on which is used on the body well yes escaping escaping and just now on the window mm -hmm. so you can recognize so that's why escaped by the way, what should we do? And this is a little bit difficult. A little bit difficult. So we need to continue our lecture, by the way. And the second also is busy. Oh, I became nervous after we've been fed on honey. Yes, yeah, so I will try to continue a discussion about Morphology of honeybee. Where is another one? Very busy now. 
yes you can see under the petri dish under the petri dish so behind tibia is changed as i said very flattened and it's named pollen basket or corbicula corbicula you can make a magnification of this a very good one honeybee like to clean the body becoming a relatively more or less quiet yes for today very difficult to take a focus and this carbicola is used for collecting and bringing more precisely for bringing pollen into beehive so that's a short story about honeybee we did today at least I made a, some macro video of some details of honeybee but later we became very nervous so because at least light and I gave them a little bit food and actually if I turn around this honeybee will escape so I think it's time to finish at least this episode about honeybees for sure I will continue this story and if it's interesting for you just welcome to my channel subscribe to my channel press likes and write your comments ask your questions I will be very pleased to be in touch with you ask you any questions I we will discuss it either in comments or directly by email if you like so thank you for watching, best greetings from Kyiv, I'm Viktor Fursov and Honeybee, happy Smellifera with you, good luck and see you soon on my channel, bye bye.